Northern Ireland, the involvement of paramilitaries and the Commission has expressed deep con a report by a European Commission has expressed deep concern about the rise in racist attacks in Northern Ireland, the involvement of paramilitaries and claims of a reluctance by police to investigate, which has been strongly rejected by the PSNI. The report comes as a descendant of the 19th century abolitionist Frederick Douglass arrived in the city ahead of a special summit to mark Black History Month. Northern Ireland has seen a rise in racism after violence erupted in parts of Belfast in the summer. Several people, homes and businesses were attacked attention, attention. after anti-immigration protests turned violent in the wake of the stabbings in Southport. Today, a report by the European Commission Against Racism and Intolerance, or the ECRI, expressed deep concern about the significant increase in violent attacks against businesses owned by people from a migrant background and places of worship for religious minorities. The report highlighted the possible involvement of paramilitary groups in such attacks, which police have reportedly been reluctant to investigate for fear, the report says, of upsetting the peace. Takura Makoni of the African and Caribbean Support Organisation in Northern Ireland insists it's wrong to blame the police. What's needed, he says, is a societal shift and more onus on politicians to take action. We need the society of Northern Ireland to protect everybody in the society of Northern Ireland. It's not a police responsibility only. The police are also members of this community as well. We must remember that. Let's not leave this on the doorstep of the policing, of the police, sorry. We have an executive. We have other institutions in this country that are supposed to be looking out for our health and well-being. The PSNI has rejected the claims in today's report, describing them as unsubstantiated and wholly irresponsible, saying the ECRI did not engage with them. The statement continued, our response to racially motivated hate crime and recent violence led to around 50 arrests and we will continue to relentlessly pursue those involved without fear or favour. The report comes as Kenneth B. Morris, a descendant of the 19th century abolitionist Frederick Douglass, arrived in Belfast. He's here as a keynote speaker at a special event at Ulster University to mark Black History Month. We need to know where we come from in order to know where we're headed. And we need to know about the great freedom fighters that came before us that um, struggled uh, to lay the groundwork for the progress that we have seen and the freedom that we do enjoy today. And while there's still a long way to go and a lot of work to be done, uh, it's always good to be reminded of the great heroes and heroines that came before us. After escaping slavery in Maryland in 1838, Frederick Douglass became national leader of the movement for African-American civil rights. During his lifetime, he visited Northern Ireland twice at the invitation of the Belfast Anti-Slavery Society. Connections to this place finally recognised only last year. While it may not be the first time Kenneth has seen this statue of his great-great-great-grandfather, it still leaves him feeling humbled.